Hi, I'm Chris Budd and I'm Professor of Applied Maths at the University of Bath. And one of the main things I'm involved with is working with industry. And what I've found is that by working with industry I come across really fascinating problems which I can then bring back and use in my teaching. And I'm really interested in, in both um, solving industrial problems and using those problems to inspire students not only to think very creatively as mathematicians but also maybe to be aware that there are careers that they can then go into where their maths will be extremely useful. So one of the things I've been working on recently is the um, business of mathematically simulating crowds. Now you may think, well what's that got to do with industry or with maths? Well crowds are very important for many, many industries, for example in the retail industry, getting people in and out of supermarkets, transport industry, or for anything that involves large numbers of people like the sports stadium. And what we do is we write mathematical simulations of these crowds where we give each person in the crowd some sort of um, behaviour pattern, typically which we describe using differential equations, um, which gives them both some sort of aspiration as to what they want to do, which might be to get from point A to point B, but also something else like they want to avoid bumping into people on the way. And this can all be written down as mathematical equations, many of which can be formulated in quite a straightforward way that an A-level student would understand perfectly well, or even um, a Year 7 student in some cases. And then we run these simulations on a computer or even on a piece of paper, and you can see how the crowd develops. Uh, and it's a marvellous way of the students actually seeing maths in action in the real world, in something they can all relate to. Um, and one of the simulations that I, I've done recently is one which every teacher will, will be familiar with, which is you've just taught a lesson for an hour or whatever, and all the students are streaming out, and at the same time, another load of students are streaming into the same classroom. And the question is, how do you get them all through the door with one group going out one way and one group going the other way? And I've done some simulations of that, and I've got, you know, these things that you can do on very easily on a, on a, on a computer um, and got students to play around with it and, and you can experiment on putting in extra doors or, or putting in barriers so you, everyone's forced to go in a certain way uh, and so you can actually configure your classroom to optimise the best way in and out. Um, and I found this, this sort of approach of taking real life problems um, that affect us all and yet applying really quite splendid mathematics, you know maths which is really good stuff in the A-level syllabus and putting them together um, to allow us to really model something which all the students are familiar with as a marvellous way of engaging them. Um, and one of the best ever applications I've seen of this um, was uh, a, a student that went on to actually go and work for IKEA and, and they've designed all the, the you know, if you haven't been at IKEA you know what I mean, the sort of maze-like structure uh, and, and they used maths to kind of optimise that. So if I can encourage all of you to maybe um, learn a bit more about the sort of maths that goes on in modern industry, and I can guarantee that you'll get fantastic examples of teaching, fantastic um, inspiration amongst your students.